Currently, hypersonic technology has become the main focus of the United States Navy in their efforts to maintain military superiority. The U.S. Navy has initiated a program to develop and test a variety of hypersonic weapons that have the potential to transform modern warfare strategies. This includes hypersonic ballistic missiles, guided missiles, and other weapons projectiles capable of reaching speeds several times the speed of sound. In recent years, the U.S. Navy has made important changes in the development of hypersonic technology. Hypersonic ballistic missiles have become a center of attention for the U.S. Navy. These missiles are capable of attaining incredible speeds, making them difficult for enemy defense systems to intercept. This hypersonic speed provides significant benefits in increasing the military's firepower and response time, providing the potential to counter threats from increasingly advanced rival nations. The conventional prompt strike weapon, a hypersonic boost glide vehicle, will hold an entirely new sphere of targets at risk. Navy has fired off a deck-launched hypersonic weapon in what could be a demonstration that the Chinese Navy is ahead of the U.S. Navy when it comes to ship-fired hypersonics. The Navy is making progress preparing to fire hypersonic weapons from its Zoom Vault-class destroyers, yet the weapons are not slated to be operational until 2025. Certainly many details are not available on the Chinese ship-launched weapon, it would seem significant to know its range, flight trajectory, guidance systems and ability to track and hit moving targets at sea. The anticipated arrival of deck-launched hypersonic weapons on the U.S. Navy Zoom Vault-class stealth destroyers in 2025 is not happening a moment too soon given the current global threat equation regarding hyperonics. Of course when it comes to range, speed of attack and both offensive and defensive targeting, ship-fired hypersonics are expected to be truly paradigm-changing for maritime warfare. The conventional prompt strike weapon, a hypersonic boost glide vehicle, will hold an entirely new sphere of targets at risk. However, how quickly will they arrive? Will it be in time to counter China's fast-growing hypersonic weapons arsenal? Not long ago, U.S. weapons developers publicly said the U.S. was number three when it comes to hypersonic weapons, although the gap is likely narrowing quickly. Also, while it is known that China and Russia are both testing various hypersonic weapons they claim are operational, their actual functionality may or may not be as significant as claimed in Chinese and Russian media report. China, is already test-firing a ship-launched hypersonic missile and has also cited an extremely recent or new air-launched variant. In recent years, China has been test-firing its ship-launched YJ-21 hypersonic missiles. Even more recently, the Chinese government-backed Global Times newspaper writes that China's H-6K bomber has been encircling Taiwan, with a EU suite of weapons to include a previously unreported air-launched variant of the hypersonic weapon. Military Watch magazine and Naval News both cite the existence of the YJ-21, yet only terms of a surface ship-launched application. Both reports cite a People's Liberation Army, Navy video showing the test firing of the YJ-21 hypersonic missile from its emerging, quasi-stealthy Type 055 destroyers. However, neither report from 2022 mentions an air-launched YJ-12 hypersonic missile variant. So the H-6K launched variant cited in the Chinese paper may be something China has developed quite recently. While Naval News essay from 2022 is clear to point out that there is still much unknown about the YJ-21, the publication quotes a Naval News analyst H.I. Sutton as saying the JY-21 is appears to be based upon the CN-401 design. Available video of PLA Navy test firings of deck-fired hypersonic weapons do not necessarily verify any measure of effectiveness for the missile. The true measure of success of any hypersonic weapon would pertain to its ability to sustain hypersonic speeds, operate with precision guidance and maneuver in flight if necessary. There is no indication that China's YJ-21 has the ability to do this, yet the US has for several years now been working on what it calls a tech insertion effort to upgrade hypersonic projectiles with an ability to hit moving targets, the ability to use cutting-edge guidance technology. Precision navigation and adapt course in flight as needed to adjust to moving targets would bring in as of yet unprecedented maritime warfare ability. In addition to hypersonic ballistic missiles, the U.S. Navy has also developed hypersonic guided missiles for use on warships. These missiles have the ability to reach their targets within minutes, increasing the combat power of the U.S. Navy and providing greater agility in rapidly changing war situations. The U.S. Navy's hypersonic weapons program also includes trials of a hypersonic interceptor system. These systems are designed to track and destroy adversary hypersonic targets, providing a high level of protection for U.S. military ships and facilities from increasingly complex threats. 
Apart from military applications, hypersonic technology also has the potential to be used in other national security operations. The US Navy has been considering using hypersonic systems to carry intelligence payloads, allowing them to quickly and efficiently convey critical information around the world. Although much progress has been made in the development of hypersonic technology by the US Navy, significant technical challenges remain to be overcome. One of the biggest challenges is ensuring that hypersonic vehicles remain stable and controllable at extreme high speeds. The development and launch of hypersonic 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 vessels ushered in a new era in military strategy. With this technology, the US Navy can increase its advantage in dealing with potential threats on land and sea. However, deployment of these technologies also requires careful risk management and good coordination with allied forces and alliances to ensure operational success and regional security. Overall, hypersonic technology launched from U.S. naval vessels promises to be a major change in the way modern wars are encountered and experienced. This presents both new opportunities and complex challenges for the U.S. Navy, which must remain at the forefront of military technology innovation to ensure national security and sovereignty. The U.S. Navy has dedicated significant resources and research to developing hypersonic technology that can be operated from warships. This technology is considered a step forward that changed the paradigm of naval warfare. One of the most important projects is the X-51 Waverider, an experimental hypersonic aircraft piloted by the U.S. Air Force and U.S. Navy. Although the project initially faced some hurdles, recent trials have shown encouraging results. Hypersonic missiles, such as the AGM-183 ARRW, Air Launched Rapid Response Weapon, or sometimes just ARRW, have been launched from U.S. Navy ships. This missile has an unusually high speed and can avoid enemy defense systems. In addition to missiles, U.S. Navy ships have also been equipped with other hypersonic weapons, including hypersonic torpedoes. These torpedoes have great potential to engage enemy submarines and enhance U.S. naval strike capabilities. This hypersonic weapons program faces formidable technical challenges, such as coping with the extreme heat generated by very high speeds and maintaining accuracy during flight. The main purpose of these hypersonic weapons is to increase detection capability and destroy targets at very short ranges, giving the enemy a tactical surprise. U.S. Navy ship-launched hypersonic weapons can be used for quick and surprise attack missions across a variety of battlefields, creating additional difficulties for opponents to engage quickly. The use of hypersonic weapons also allows the U.S. to extend the range and range of its warships, providing greater flexibility and strength in global territorial waters. But the development of hypersonic weapons also raises concerns over the potential for military escalation and instability in international relations. Therefore, the U.S. and other countries continue to seek control and transparency in the development and use of hypersonic weapons. Overall, U.S. Navy ship-launched hypersonic weapons represent a significant step forward in dealing with future threats and bring about a major shift in the paradigm of naval warfare. <laughs>